people who watch my videos sometimes and people who subscribe and stuff. Uh, movie Trollop here. I painted up another one. Painted up another one. And this one's uh, horror number eight from Cats Perfect. And uh, here's the mold. And here's what I did with it. Alright, uh, hopefully he's focusing nice and uh, stuff and not the words. I hate that. I've done this twice and it always focuses on the words. Ah, there he is. I hope you like him. I'm kind of happy with him. I was kind of on the fence. Um, I did him and then I took a nap. Let me see. Yeah, he looks kind of freaky creepy, right? Anywho, so, uh, yeah, this is how I, I did him, and if you want to watch kind of some of the process on how uh, he was painted up, uh, keep watching. And if you want to make one, information is downstairs, uh, along with uh, how I got some of my um, painting tips and things, uh, just a fun set of videos to watch. They're actually nail art videos, but she's a painter, and she does these crazy, amazing um, Oh, portraits and things. Uh, she has some really out there stuff. And she's a nice gal. So check her out. That's Robin Moses' channel. She'll be in the downstairs. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. And I hope you, uh, I hope you like it. Let me know. <laughs> Alright, cheers. Hey, guys. Uh, okay. So this is like the first stage. I didn't show you how I did it, but I, again, did it with just a uh, thin detailing brush. This is some random China, or one from China. It looks actually, they look a lot like uh, the Lou Cornell ones. Which I think I have one, a Lou Cornell Lou. <laughs> we're friends and we're tight like that. Uh, we have, I have one that's sort of... That's my really detailing one, but I got a set of four of these for like three bucks on eBay. If I can find the listing, I'll put it in the downstairs. But uh, yeah, so uh, this one I've used before for an entire piece. So, and that one's in uh, this here business. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I really like those. I like the handles on these. Um, those ones are a little more rubberized, but I like... I like both because they're nice and thick and I have a lot of problems. <laughs> Why do you care? You don't care. I'm sorry. Okay, so what I did here, starting on um, our horror mold, uh, was I'm just kind of randomly mapping out the light bits, the lightest points. And this isn't actually white. It's kind of, um, it's a very, very, very light gray. It's this here. Mixed it into the white. Um, yeah, makes it into the white. Very, 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 very light. Just to make it kind of a little dingier white. Because uh, that way, later on, if I want to really make something really shine, I can add a little bit of watered down straight white to it. And yeah. bring that luster back. Okay? So, I'll see you in a minute for the next uh, the video. Okay. Hey. Uh, also, something semi-helpful. I use my phone. And just have it on the Google search for jigsaw. <laughs> Get a lot of jigsaw puzzles. Um, but some of that, those will help with the... Um, <laughs> some, like a lot of fan art and stuff. But um, that'll help with a lot of the, um, the uh, image mapping. So, kind of handy. Oh, also, I went around uh, and lightened around the eyes where the red was going to go, just in case the red that I have wasn't as um, opaque, you know, to make it a little brighter, because his eyes, um, I like the idea that his eyes are really, really bright and really, really stare into your soul, so I went ahead and did that too. So anywhere where the red was going to go, I went ahead and did that too, although I'll probably go over the swirls with straight white to make them really go when we get it done, okay? All right. Be back in a minute. <clears throat> okay, so I've started on here. I thought you might like to see some of the painting. I hope this is going to be in frame for you. Okay, so as you can see, I started over here, and I'm just going to show you kind of how I started adding low lights, and really you're building up 
when you're working with the um, with the paint <clears throat> with the acrylic paint excuse me if I start coughing like a freak I think I have allergies and they're attacking me so I'm gonna take a little bit of the black and, and on a wet brush and just put it on my little spot here take a little bit of this white <clears throat> mix out mix up a medium gray I pour these in gray because it makes it easier for me to kind of make it blend if that makes any sense so like I did over here I took all these light spots I already started over here with the dark under the eye so you just want to kind of let me see if I can make sure that we're in frame okay good okay it's going to be interesting to see me do this okay so I'm going to start just kind of touching this in not a big deal just kind of smushing it. I'm using mostly the very tip, tip of the brush, like that, and just kind of tapping it sort of in, which was um, a thing I saw for, or learned from um, Robin Moses nail art painting videos, which I will also link in the downstairs because that is some awesome stuff if you're trying to work on painting. She has some great kind of fundamentals on, and shortcuts too, to a certain extent. Now I'm just getting a little bit of white a little bit lighter gray and I want it watery you know not crazy watery but pretty watery yeah okay <clears throat> and then again we're going to start just layering I'm shaking a little bit sorry we're layering that and if it gets a little too obnoxious just wipe it off get a little bit wet on your paintbrush and blend that line a little bit and don't worry about covering up what you just did because it's kind of a process of building it up. This is extremely forgiving style of painting, by the way. Extremely forgiving. <clears throat> now, the white parts were just a map, so you can go in and get, mix a little bit whiter into that brown, or into that gray. <clears throat> get a little bit whiter, waterier. Sorry, I'm resting my hand on my knee and my knee is shaking. <laughs> Alright. Because it's on its tippy toe. And I don't have the flexibility to do this kind of thing. Anyway. So we want to just touch in some of that. It's really, really not complicated. It looks like you really freaked out when you took classes. There's a little bit of adding a little bit more watery black to it. Do you want to kind of get in that line a little bit? <clears throat> get in that line a little bit and then work that out because our whites of our eyes are going to be black and we're just going to put we're really layering on the paint so you can see on this side how I have all those little lines and things it's exactly how I did it this is just me smoothing out with just a little bit of water Anytime the brushes kind of start to get, or the uh, brush strokes start to get overly obnoxious. And then painting in that light again with just a gray. And it's not going to always do what you want. Which is just fine. Because it'll get there. <clears throat> At no point is it going to be, oh my gosh, I added so much more paint than I needed. Um, it's really not going to be that. I don't. I don't think I've ever experienced that. Uh, where I'm just like, oh, that is just too much. So we're painting in very thin, very sheer layers. So you're not going to have that issue where it's going to get cakey because you keep adding that water. And uh, the resin is surprisingly resilient with the amount of water that I add to uh, to it. So now I'm just darkening some of that creasing kind of in preparation for for next time. <clears throat> then in between here, when you're doing this, you're thinking, oh, it's not totally done. If your lines, if you if your brush strokes uh, and all of that kind of stuff have kind of a blurred line like that, you can get away with a lot. So you want them to dry because they turn lighter. A lot of the blacks and whites and acrylic paint turn really a lot lighter as they're uh, doing their thing. <clears throat> I hope I'm loud enough for this video. Oh no, I'm singing again. The dreaded 
<laughs> Robin painting video opera. All right, and then we're just, you know, you start adding that lighter color where you needed that lighter color again. And again, that looks disgusting and sloppy. And it will. And then you get, I get a little water, kind of just tap the towel to take off some of that extra water. Still damp, still totally wet. And then you're just taking it, see how, see how wet that is? How it like leaves the pool. And <clears throat> when you're working with wet acrylic, or you wanna take some paint off, you wet that paint that you just put on that you don't like and tap it with your finger. Tap and blot. It takes it right off and you can start again. So that's good to know too. It's a very, very, very unbeliev unbelievably um, forgiving medium. Really, really is. And that was way too dark. Bumblebee. Quiet, please. Paint your stuff there, short person. Okay. And then uh, she's painting too. We're having a painting night. So, and again, um, it's hard to paint because I'm, I'm kind of, the camera's off to my side. Okay. But, and you just keep doing it. Keep building up. Keep blending. If there's an easier way, I don't know it. But you see how it starts to kind of blend? And then you can get a little darker. And kind of, that tapping helps blend it. Getting a little bit of water, tapping that water off. Just taking the very, very tip of it and just dragging it into the other paint. <clears throat> and then we're just gonna tap that anywhere I always see the water has kind of pooled, or the uh, paint has kind of, um, the moist paint has pooled. I try to drag that down because if you get, if you let it sit, it'll settle and you'll get like a weird little paint line, which is annoying. But you see that's, we're just kind of doing that. This is just the preliminary layers. So we're just building up that sort of gradation in the face. And we'll keep building that up. And um, I'll come back with the next stage. Okay? Charles. Okay, quickly, just a progress report here. Um, I don't like how dark this is, but it's all part of the process. Uh, <laughs> uh, which I thought was good to mention too. If you don't like it, it can always go in another direction. That's the great thing about um, doing this kind of painting the, with the layers. So I'm taking a little bit of this paint. I mixed a light gray, <clears throat> which I mixed a light gray. I don't know if you can see it. It's a very, very light gray. Um, because I'm going to make this a lot lighter. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> How I got this lighter bits is I kind of press it until it's kind of a really dry brush. Well, a moist brush, but pretty dry compared to some of it. And I kind of work it in on the corner like this until it's kind of like a dry consistency. And then to get the... I do this with the dark too, how this dark kind of faded in. <clears throat> and this one's great because... He's supposed to be, you know, puppet of a psycho. So, <laughs> a methodical psycho, but a psycho. He, you know, for as methodical and well thought out and well planned as all those friggin' booby traps and crap were, uh, you'd think he would have put a little more effort into his figurehead. You know what I mean? Like, you would have thought maybe, I don't know, not so rushed on the paint job on the doll that delivers the creepy message. I don't know. I don't know. But in this case, it works for us. So I'm going to take that and <clears throat> get a little bit more because I talked and I lost the wiggly pot of the brush. Okay, <clears throat> so this part, it just, it's kind of like dry brushing. Ah, not dry enough. And then kind of, you can smoosh it with the brush a little bit and bring it, see how that works? You can bring it a little bit brighter. See what a huge difference that little bit made? So I also, uh, while I'm sitting here, uh, I'll do it again while I'm talking. Um, <laughs> uh, work it into the brush, work it, worky, worky, and then you can do this too. Just pat it, <clears throat> and then let's do the nose. 
we're going to start to lighten this even more. And I use the side of the brush, which is why I don't spend a lot of money on brushes. I try not to mush because bending the actual um, shaft part that's coming out of the uh, the bit there that my nail's touching. Here. This little part where it starts to come out, that's what's going to mess up your brush. So as long as you uh, don't use that part, it should be fine. And then if it gets a little too clumpy, I'll add a little bit of water. And then I'll rub it off and then I'll just rub that paint out. And again, I use this a lot to take the moisture off. And then any moisture that's on that brush, see there, I can use to work that and to lighten it a little bit. And I will go in and add more dark to this side, especially because while showing you, I messed up my darkness. But this one, <coughs> this is more of a... Uh, better, uh, more better. This is a better representation of what this side's going to look like. You just kind of bring that all the way up. And I just use black in the line and then I dry brush that black, kind of smudged it and brought it out. And if it was too wet or the paint hadn't been dry enough, you just kind of take a little bit off and damp and take a little bit off, you know, easy. And with that dry brush, you can kind of put a little bit of pressure in and just kind of rub it. Okay. And it kind of makes that blend just a little bit. Okay? I also took the black and went around here. I didn't finish the forehead yet. But, uh, and I put the darker colors. <clears throat> Small person. Quiet over there. Thank you. Just for another minute. I uh, put the little darker pieces. I actually put both the dark and the light in here because it can be kind of sloppy because, you know, again, crazy guy paint job. Uh, <laughs> and you're going to once, but I would put the dark and the light and kind of make it messy and don't blend it too well so that uh, when you put that red on, there's that kind of inconsistency in the paint job around it, and I think it makes it look that much better. So, um, yeah, I also... Did the sides of him, I guess, or her. I'm not really sure what. <laughs> sure, it has his voice, but it could be like, I don't know, Anne or Sue. I don't know why Anne and Sue. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, now I'm going to go ahead and probably um, do that to the rest of the face, get it a little lighter, and then I'm going to add some flesh tones, which I'll come back to, and uh, just a little bit. And then, uh, oh, and I did add a little bit where I wanted the lips to be highlighted, highlit, highlighted, yes, uh, before putting the red over top. So that'll be a whole other thing, too. Um, cleaned up the whites a little bit, cleaned up these lines just a little bit. Uh, gonna do these eyebrows and put the nice glint on them, kind of like how the chin and the cheeks are, and the forehead. And then, uh, I'll come back before I do anything else, but I just wanted to show you how um, that's how I got this kind of blended sort of uh, messy blended line because um, with acrylics, it sometimes is a little difficult to get them to um, blend effectively. So there's him. Darken the underside of the nose, just like basic stuff, just to add a little bit of depth. And then uh, we're going to get a lot lighter than this. So, okay. She's lifting something. I swear she's not doing anything horrible. I know you can hear her no, grunting noises. She's trying to lift, lift an entire Mom, castle. I understand. I do. I understand. Okay, I'm going to go help her unstick her castle and uh, stop her from making grunting noises while I film. And uh, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So I've uh, gone ahead and started doing the um, sort of flesh tone. Let me see how close I can get. Hopefully you can see. You see that really light, like, stripe? The highlight there? That's where the flesh tone is. All this lightest, the lightest part of the cheeks and the lightest part of the forehead and some of the eyebrow um, is this flesh tone. I'll show you what kind of color it is. Um, I can't tell you exactly how, like, what color. It's it's um, kind of like a beige, like a uh, sort of brownie beige, yellowy base. Here, let's look at that better. Is that better? Better? Worse? Better? Worse? No idea. Um, I would tell you 
watch. I would tell you what color, but it's uh, really old. <laughs> Guess it's flesh. If you can find any softies, <laughs> ceramic paint. Um, but that was just, it's just um, like a yellow toned uh, beige. So, no big deal. It's just uh, when you paint it on, when you're doing um, sort of the grayscale thing, if you really want something to pop, the white is sometimes too stark. And if you use a flesh tone, you get that um, super highlight without um, kind of having, like, you can see how completely abrupt these are in the pupils. And then that kind of blends with everything, and that's just straight that. I used it a little bit dry and then just kind of blended it on the nose. Same thing with the cheeks and a little bit up here. I'll probably do more. Um, I'll show you a little bit on the chin real quick. I haven't done that. Okay, so I'm doing that same dry brushy thing where you kind of work it into the brush. And then let's see if I can get into an angle where I can actually show you something and be productive. Yay! So I'm just going to try a wiggle. Sorry. I just use the tip and kind of work it in there. And you can see how, I don't know if you can tell how light that's already getting right there. I probably have to darken a little bit around the edges, but um, yeah, get a little bit of that. Just a little tiny bit, nothing too obscene. Um, just to kind of bring that nice harsh kind of paint line to the forefront here. I'll do it on here. A little bit of dry brush. I'm sorry if I'm wiggly. Just a little bit. And then, again, it's, hey, it's kind of dry. I have a hard time getting it off. Just put a little bit of your paintbrush into some water. Put that water on. And then just wipe it kind of away. And you can kind of, uh, if you want to add just a little bit of color, too, you can just take the water, put a little tiny bit of water on your brush, and you can just... It adds just a little bit of color. And then you can wipe it away if you want. But, um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. Just building. Um, redefining any dark spots. Trying not to make his chin look like something naughty. Uh, but yeah, just, whoops. <laughs> oh, this camera. This new camera, I'm having a hard time getting the, um, angles to work for me. Um, but okay, so uh, that's it. And then I'm going to go ahead and start with the reds and uh, I'll probably come back for that. I'm um, going to try to find the creepiest red I can. So I'll probably lighten. I can go back and lighten later. Um, but I want to get that red on there so I can see, kind of have a gauge on how it's going to look. But I probably will add more white or more flesh tone in a little bit and I will let you know. All right. See you in a few. Okay, this is pretty much what I think I'm going to stop at. Um, all I did was I did two coats of the red, and you can see, I don't know if you can see or not. Hold on, let me see here. Let me focus it. On the lips, where I hit that with the white, it is a lighter, because the red I used, let me just go ahead and show you, uh, it was the Americana in Berry Red. And uh, when I hit it with the white in those spots where I wanted it to be the brightest for the red, it um, it did. Like, there's dimension in the lips. I don't know if you can even tell. Let's see if you can. There's enough light. Look, Mommy. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's without the light. Here's with this. Um, I put the bangs on the eyes just because I like them. <laughs> and... Um, Sorry. Uh, yeah. Put the bings on the eyes just because I like them. There, uh, I put white dots there and then put yellow over top because I thought it was too much. The bow, I kind of mixed it with a little bit of black so that it wouldn't be as bright as the face because I thought that would have killed the bow. Um, I was going to put some dimension in the hair, but um, he's kind of not... I mean, I just did, thought it would be kind of a wasted effort seeing as it's a marionette. So, um, that's him. Uh, everything always turns out a lot, um, darker 
than I uh, plan to uh, skin tone wise. So this one, after I did all the highlighting and did all the really bright spots with the lighter color, I did go over and put a white wash. Oh, and you can see I got kind of sloppy with it because, um, watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little sloppy. And um, I thought that was kind of awesome. So, swirls worked out really well. Everything, I'm kind of happy with them. I think it's cute. I don't know. So, uh, tell me what you think. Uh, hope you liked it. I hope that um, I, I did enough uh, filming to walk you through it kind of a little bit. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me know. If there's anything you want to see in the next painting video that I maybe haven't shown yet, uh, let me know. I was going to do um, some more time actually painting so you can see me painting more, but um, I didn't think you wanted to hear a Disney movie, so <laughs> I don't need that kind of drama in my YouTubes, because I know that cease and desist letter would come. Oh yeah, with a vengeance. Uh, yeah, so, um, <laughs> uh, and I, I don't know how to take the sound out of something and put words over it, because I'm super duper smart and quick like that. But anyway, um, hopefully you like this stuff, and, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, Kat, you also like it. Remember, this is, uh, where you can get the mold for this, and, um... All that good stuff will be in the bottom description area zone thing. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe and comment if you so desire. And uh, yeah, hope it was uh, helpful or something. <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.